Navy's nuclear-powered submarine Dreadnought was at home to the newsreels. Come and take pictures, they said. And the commander and his number one bade us welcome. But the Pathé cameraman, no second invitation wanted. This was the first time that permission had been given to take films below the deck. One look round is enough to show that Dreadnought is a technician's paradise. Here, with nothing to see but dials, speed, depth and direction must be controlled, though at this stage, the ship was still on the surface. The navigating officer plotted the course of the short run from Portsmouth to Brixham, and the order was now given to submerge a few feet below the surface. Commander Sanborn raised the periscope to look round the sea as though on an actual exercise. So far, of course, there was nothing different from a conventional submarine. The radioactive warning, however, reminds us that Dreadnought is nuclear-powered, a pressurized water reactor designed in the United States. The torpedo controls and tubes were given the routine check. Those not on watch could improve the shining hour by washing their socks. At this rate, entire oceans will be covered with detergent foam. Inner happiness comes first, hence the rum ration. Everything on board is designed for all possible comfort for the 11 officers and 79 ratings. That is essential on the very long voyages of which nuclear-powered submarines are capable.